Earlier in the course, we spent a fair amount of time solving problems involving objects moving in a straight line with a constant acceleration. To solve those problems, we had a set of equations which related the kinematic quantities at the later time to the kinematic quantities at the earlier time. To be more specific, let's say we have an object moving along the x-axis with a constant acceleration a. At the earlier time, the kinematic quantities describing the object are time zero, position zero, velocity zero. And at the later time, the kinematic quantities describing the object are time one, position one, velocity one. Then we had these three equations, which connect time one, position one, velocity one to time zero, position zero, velocity zero. There were a couple of other equations, but these are the three which I think are most useful. In this part of the course, we might consider a scenario more like this. Here we have a circle and we have an object which is moving around the circle. Let's say we assume that the object moves with a constant angular acceleration. And let's say that at time zero, the angular position is theta zero and the angular velocity is omega zero. And let's say at time one, the angular position is theta one and the angular velocity is omega one. And let's say we would like a set of equations which would relate the rotational kinematic variables at the later time to the rotational kinematic variables at the earlier time. In other words, let's say we want a set of equations which relates theta one, omega one, t one to theta zero, omega zero, t zero. Now, how could we come up with such a set of equations? It turns out that all we have to do is take these equations here which we were using for the linear process with constant regular acceleration. And we can just repurpose these equations to describe this process over here, where we have an object moving in a circle with a constant angular acceleration. How do we do that? Well, over here, our basic position variable is x. Over here, our basic position variable is theta. So we're just going to take x and turn it into theta. Over here, we have regular velocity. Over here, we have angular velocity. So we can just take the V and turn it into omega. Over here, we have linear acceleration. Over here, we have angular acceleration. So we can take the A's and turn them into alphas. So let's do that. Let's take that first equation here. We'll turn the V's into omegas and the A's into alphas. And we then have omega one, equals omega zero plus alpha delta t. We can call that equation one. Let's do the same with that second equation. For that second equation, we're going to need all three of these substitutions. But when we do that, that's going to give us theta one equals theta zero plus omega zero delta t plus one half alpha delta t squared and then for that last equation, we get omega one squared equals omega zero squared plus two alpha theta one minus theta zero. And now we have a set of equations that we can use to solve rotational kinematic problems involving objects moving with a constant angular acceleration. And in the next video, we're going to do just that.